Welcome to the 27th episode of our Sudoku series. In this video, I'll walk you through solving this puzzle using seven essential techniques. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced player, these techniques will help you improve your problem-solving skills. Let's get started. Only one position left in the first box where value 8 can be placed. Only one position left in the fourth box where value 7 can be placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 2 can be placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 1 can be placed. Only one position left in the second box where value 1 can be placed. Only one position left in the second box where value 9 can be placed. Only 7 is missing in the second box. Only one position left in the first box where value 9 can be placed. Only one position left in the third box where value 1 can be placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 5 can be placed. Only one position left in the fifth box where value 9 can be placed. Only one position left in the sixth box where value 3 can be placed. Only 6 is missing in the fourth row. Only one position left in the seventh box where value 9 can be placed. The next solve techniques need to be based on the candidates. All candidates have been filled in. Cell row 2 column 2 is a naked single. There is an intersection with another region in subgrid 8, value 7 has to be in one of the marked cells. So it cannot be in any other cell in row 9. There is an X-wing in columns 2 and 8. Value 6 has to go into either the purple cells or the green cells. This means that candidate 6 can be removed from the other cells in rows 1 and 9. There is a W-wing in value 5. The two cells are row 9 column 2 and row 3 column 7. If 5 is not in row 9 column 2, then row 9 column 2 must be 6, so that row 1 column 2 cannot be 6. If 6 cannot be in row 1 column 2, then row 1 column 8 must be 6. Because 6 only occurs twice in this row. If row 1 column 8 is 6, then row 3 column 7 must not be 6. So the value 5 has to be in one of these cells, row 9 column 2 or row 3 column 7. It may even be in both. Value 5 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is a finned X-wing with value 2 in rows 2 and 8. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. Cell row 9 column 8 is a naked single. Cell row 9 column 2 is a naked single. Only 6 is missing in the second column. There is a finned X-wing with value 4 in columns 3 and 4. Either the fish or the fin is true. The fish and the fin are marked in purple and green, respectively. It is possible to eliminate all candidates that would be eliminated by both the fish and the fin. There is an X chain consisting of five links in value 4. If 4 is not in row 8 column 9, then it has to be in row 8 column 1. If 4 is in row 8 column 1, then it cannot also be in row 6 column 1. If 4 is not in row 6 column 1, then it has to be in row 6 column 5. If 4 is in row 6 column 5, then it cannot also be in row 7 column 5. If 4 is not in row 7 column 5, then it has to be in row 9 column 4. Therefore value 4 is either in row 8 column 9 or row 9 column 4. Value 4 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. There is an XY chain with three links that starts at row 8 column 1. This cell has only two candidates, 2 and 4. If the value of row 8 column 1 is not 2 then it has to be 4. Thus 4 cannot also be in row 6 column 1. 
If the value of row 6 column 1 is not 4 then it has to be 6. Thus 6 cannot also be in row 6 column 9. If the value of row 6 column 9 is not 6 then it has to be 8. Thus 8 cannot also be in row 9 column 9. If the value of row 9 column 9 is not 8 then it has to be 2. That is the very value that started the chain. We have now found that value 2 is either in row 8 column 1, the trivial case, or, by following the chain, in row 9 column 9. Therefore value 2 can be eliminated from any cell that shares a region with both cells. All remaining numbers can be solved using naked single technique, so there is no need to explain them one by one. This is the final result of the puzzle. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a video. Thanks again for tuning in and happy puzzling!